Hello everybody, so as you know, I'm currently locked out of Bulletberry. The only way I can actually access this channel is through the YouTube mobile app. And it feels to me like an inevitability that one day I'm going to lose access to that as well. So before that happens, I wanted to send you guys over to my new channel, Berry Hugs. So today, I am going to upload a video that I've uploaded to that channel. And if you guys are enjoying this content, if you would like to see more of this, um, I'll have the link in the description. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, go ahead and check it out. All through my life, I've had some really interesting things happen to me, and I wanted to share them, if not for anything else, but to have them for myself in the future, so that if I forget, I can always come back and remember. So I guess think of this kind of like a video diary. So this one happened to me back in high school. So there I am, I had just gotten off the bus in the middle of the day. Now the reason for this was because around lunchtime, a group of 30 or so kids would get on a bus and we'd be taken about two or three miles away from the school to another facility called the Land Lab. And there we would learn science and English. After those classes were done, we would be driven back to the school and then we would go on to our next class. The only thing was, I had about like 20 minutes before my next class started. So I would just walk around the school every so often until my next class would begin. So there I am, I'd just gotten off the bus, and I start walking through the school, and I'm walking up and down the hallway. Now the building was completely empty. There was only myself and then this other kid all the way down on the other side of the building opening up his locker. Well, he opens up his locker, and a live bat flies out of the locker, hits him in the forehead, he falls over screaming, right? The bat is flying around, and the kid is like, freaking out. Now at this point, I'm dying. Like, I'm laughing hysterically. Apparently someone had caught a bat and threw it into this kid's locker as a prank. The kid stands up and sprints out the door as fast as he can. There was a door right next to him. Now, at this point, again, I'm, I'm just losing my mind. Like, I am laughing like crazy when this bat starts flying my direction. Now, I had a little binder with a handle on it, and I was just like flinging that thing up in the air trying to get the bat away from me. I went from being ridiculously amused to horribly terrified in less than a second. And there was a reason for that, you know, like I had my wits about me. Think of it this way, right? Vampire bats eat people. Fruit bats eat berries. I am a people, and my name is Barry. I had full reason to be afraid in that situation. So I sprint over and I run into the bathroom. And I'm, I'm sitting in there panting like, okay, what am I going to do? <laughs> How am I going to get myself out of this situation is what I'm thinking to myself. And I remember that the door that that kid had just left was almost right outside of the bathroom. So if I could sprint out that door and open up the door as fast as I possibly could, maybe the bat would follow me outside. And that was exactly the plan. So as fast as I can, I sprint towards that door, I push it open, and what I didn't know was right on the other side of the door, a very popular, very attractive cheerleader had just been walking into the building. I pushed the door so hard that I knocked her down. She flew three steps down, hit her ass hard on the concrete, and she looks up at me and she goes, what the f And that was all she could say until she sees this bat fly out at her and she stands up and sprints across the courtyard screaming. I just stopped and looked and was like, okay, um, <laughs> that's the end of that situation. Now people didn't believe me when I told this story to them. I was telling them all day what I had just seen and they're like, nah, you're BSing us, right? Like I was in a class um, of seniors and juniors and this was my freshman year that this happened to me. I was in a senior junior math class. So I was like the fresh meat. Nobody wanted to pay attention to me. Nobody cared, right? But I was like, guys, this legitimately happened. The next day, it's what everyone's talking about. Eventually, I found the kid who thought of the prank to begin with and found the bat and threw it into the locker. And I walked up to him and I asked, man, I got to know, was that hard to catch that thing? Like, how long did that take? And he goes, honestly, it wasn't that difficult. I caught it right off the bat. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please, again, go into the description. Go ahead and check out my new channel. I'm going to be populating that with a buttload more stories very soon.
Thank you guys so much, and hopefully we get this whole channel situation figured out soon. Bye, guys.